everybody, Kevin Stevenson here with Phase Logics. You can find us at GetMeTheGeek.com. We're a managed IT services provider, and today we're going to be talking about Proxmox. So, not too long ago, Proxmox upgraded from the version five of their operating system to 6.0. So we're going to we're going to work on that. We're going to take an existing 5.4 or something to that effect uh, version and upgrade it to six. So let's get started. Okay, so. In order to get this process started, we need to log into our Proxmox machine. And I've already done that here. Here is my uh, test Proxmox machine. It is set up as uh, Proxmox VE 5.4-13. And I don't have any VMs running on this at the moment. Uh, I recommend that you migrate your VMs off of a machine before you go ahead and start this process. Uh, and also you need to make sure that it is all updated. So I'm going to look over here and click on this update and you'll see that there's actually uh, an update that hasn't been installed. So let me show you uh, what's going to happen with that. So just so you know, uh, I am doing this. So for the Proxmox's website, there's a upgrade from 5.x to 6.0. So take note of this and we're basically just going to follow this process um, <clears throat> of the in-place upgrade. So the first thing we need to do is uh, run this script right here. And if you have uh, updated your Proxmox to the latest version, that script will be there and installed. So, I am using PuTTY to SSH into the Proxmox machine. And I'm going to type in the command, PVE526. You run that command, and it's going to do a check to see if uh, you're ready to upgrade. So if you look at this here, you'll notice that uh, there are a total of 15 tests, uh, pass two, skip two, warnings one, and failure zero. So this warning, we're gonna scroll up and take a look and see what that that is. All right, here we go. Warning, updates to the following packages is available. So just a second ago when I showed you that I didn't have all the updates installed, this is the reason why I wanted to uh, not do that just yet, just to show you what will happen. So basically what we need to do is install an update. And so this command to do updates is pretty simple. Uh, apt update and apt distest upgrade. And the dash Y will give you, uh, just basically answers yes to any of the questions. So we're gonna go ahead and run that. And that'll take just a second. There's only one package that needs to be updated, so it should be pretty darn quick. Um, so just, uh, boom, and there it is. So now we can go back and we can run that update command one more time, the uh, process, the check. And now you see that there aren't any warnings. Okay, so the next step is to go ahead and update the sources um, to the new version of Debian. And basically, this is going to do this for that for us. Also, just let me just put the this right here, so you can see exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm just following along in this list, and we did this operation. And basically, all that does is uh, um, change the sources from to to the Buster version of Debian. Um, now we need to pro add the Proxmox six packages, and this will do it right here. So I just went into that, uh, um, you know, the sources for the app get now, and you'll notice that they all say Buster. And also, so um, if the back port, remove it, current, so this I don't think is a problem. Ceph only replace Ceph. I'm not using Ceph, so it's not a problem right there. 
Um, so everything's good as far as that's concerned. Um, so for the no subscription repositories, see this. Um, so let's just take a look at that. Um, let's just do this real quick. And you'll see here there's that no subscription PV one in here too. Um, so everything's buster. It should be all, I think this is all good. Um, now we're going to do this apt update. update. And basically all that is is it goes to the repos and it uh, looks for all the changes and updates. Uh, this could take a while. Um, but then again it might not. So it looks like it's already done. Um, let's see what it says. Update from one of, cannot be done securely. Blah, blah, blah. That's, that's not really a problem. Uh, that's just this HTTPS thing. So if I go and we look at these sources again, um, you'll see that they're all HTTPS. Or, excuse me, they're not HTTPS. Um, so it's, it's not a problem. So the next step here is upgrade your system from, uh, to, uh, Buster and Proxmox 6. And basically the command is do an apt dist upgrade. And there we go. And boom, was a whole lot of stuff here. You just hit Y. You could have done a dash Y on that or on that command itself and it would have just automatically selected the yes. So let's go ahead and watch that. So basically we just have a little um, prompt here that basically says you're attempting to upgrade from Proxmox VE 5.4 to 6.0. 6 Make sure you've read the upgrade notes and so on and so forth. That upgrade from 5X to 6.0 Proxmox wiki right there is the page that we have up on, on the screen existing right now. So basically all you need to do here is hit enter. All right, so now we have uh, a little bit of news. You can look through there, basically. Um, nothing important. I mean, it, not that it's not important, but there's nothing really that you need to do. So you can just hit Q there and that'll uh, get you out of that. And now we're gonna go through some prompting. Uh, my particular case, we're just gonna use the standard English keyboard layout. Um, basically, when in doubt, you could probably just use the default, in this case was N, keep your currently installed version. So there are services that need to be restarted during this uh, process. It will ask you to restart them. Uh, basically, I'm going to say yes, because I want to go ahead and let them restart them or let the operating system restart it. Okay, all right. Keep the local version installed. All right, it looks like it's finished. So now the real question is, uh, I'm probably, I, without a doubt, I need to reboot. But let's just see if we can log into this guy without a reboot. See what happens. All right. Looky there. It looks like I don't even have to do a reboot. That's amazing. See, it says here Proxmox VE 6.07. Thanks for watching. If you like that video, just give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notifications. If you want to hire us for a project, head over to GetMeTheGeek.com where we offer business IT solutions. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.